Hey, Darcy, look. 100,000 miles. So? It's a big deal. What if I told you that every time a Volkswagen hits 100,000 miles, a German engineer gets his wings? Love that spot. All right, Mustangs in Asia, Toyotas in Texas, something missing from the Super Bowl. All that takes a backseat when you have the preeminent auto tester and expert putting the hammer down seeking to dodge the occasional reindeer. Welcome back to Car Coach. Keep up with her exploits and world travels at laurenfix.com. The aforementioned pedal pusher, if you will, herself, Lauren Fix, joins us. Lauren, we're going to get to all that other stuff in a minute. I want to make sure we cram everything in here, but I want to start right out with the fact that you were test driving a car in Iceland. Tell us about that. Yeah, I had a great opportunity to test drive the new Discover Sport made by Land Rover uh, in Iceland. And I thought, you know, I, I can't miss this opportunity because I know there is serious ice, serious snow, and we're in the dead of January. So you know what that means. It's going to be a lot of interesting snow conditions. And I have to say, one of the things that's important about Land Rover doing this is it literally tests the maximum of any vehicle. And the competition in that category, honestly, I don't know if I'd want to take those vehicles off-road. So would you recommend this in? I mean, from what you saw, you test drove the car. Good car? Right, we test drove the new Land Rover Discovery Sport. I have to say what I liked about it, it's $37,000, so it's the new lowest price point for them. Previously, the Evoque was $45,000. The regular Land Rover, you'd be coming in around $50,000. So now they've really taken a, a lower price point. All new vehicle, crossover utility. Uh, it was so capable with snow tires, it was unbelievable. Now remember, we only have five hours of daylight there, so you would watch the sun rise at 11 o'clock in the morning, and by 4 in the afternoon, it was gone. So you, you did a lot of night driving. We drove on glacier ice. We drove in 10-foot deep snow, ice, rain, and any combination in between. And you, most cars would do okay. But when you're talking about 10 feet of snow and sheer ice and the glass ice, the, this vehicle was like a mountain goat. It literally went through everything. And I thought, okay, the competition, you got the BMW X3, the Audi Q5, the Mercedes GLK, and they even consider the Kia Sorento which is a big plus for Kia to be even considered against Land Rover. And honestly, the truth is, the Land Rover is the one vehicle I'd want to have in Iceland before I'd have one of those other vehicles. And honestly, as far as going through deep water, we were going through two feet deep water. And when I, we got to the edge, I looked over and went, I don't know, I wouldn't do that with any vehicle I own. And it went right through the water like no problem at all. You didn't slow, obviously, but it was amazing. Very impressive vehicle. It's a mountain goat. All right, we got 90 seconds. Let's rip through this. Okay. Mustang okay. is now going to Asia, correct? Yes, finally, Mustangs are being sold in, the, in other countries overseas. The new Mustang you see is being sold in Asia, and that's fantastic, and they probably will do pretty good there. Now, they've changed it just a little bit, right? They changed the little things to fit each individual country, right? Right, obviously, if it's right-hand right. drive and things like that. In addition, this new Mustang has independent rear suspension, and I'm sure the 2.3-liter turbo engine will be very successful there. I would say that is the highlight of the whole car. Good-looking car, even though it is a Ford, but then again, that's oh. just me. There you go. Toyota is going to establish a new North American headquarters in Texas. This sounds like a money deal. It is. It's Plano, Texas, and obviously, it's a non-union state, so they're merging everything there from California, which is a very... Uh-oh. We have a technical difficulty there. Have we lost Lauren for the moment from New York? I believe we have. Oh, terrible on that. How can we lose? See, we have to have Lauren take care of things such as satellite transmissions and others. What Lauren is going to tell you is, wait a minute. Okay, Lauren, I got 30 seconds. We talked about Toyota Union. Now, Audi's going to be out of the Super Bowl. Why? Okay, uh, it, it's obviously a very expensive thing, and they're not going to be doing that Dober how how or whatever the heck that was. <laughs> the Dober hua hua. Okay, see, I got it, and she didn't. All right, we're out of time, unfortunately. She's talking about Audi will not be going to the Super Bowl this year. It will not advertise there. Basically, it comes down to money, but then again, all these other companies that get there, they go to the Super Bowl, they, they spend millions of dollars on a Super Bowl ad, and they rarely get their money back. Don't forget Lauren Fix at laurenfix.com. Check out what she has there. Also, you can find out a little bit more about her with the car in Iceland, and I don't think she hit a reindeer, so thing is very good. Thanks so much, Lauren. I'm telling you, we'll get her to work on phones, all right? Next up, from punching the throttle to punching the bag, seek and ye shall find, and here the political punching bag when Midpoint continues. <laughs>